An adult daughter charged with shooting her father to death in the home she shared with her parents. Our Bruce Lashan has been gathering new details and joins us live from that scene with much more. Hey, Bruce. Lorenzo, really horrifying. I mean, this whole neighborhood is really in tears. Law enforcement sources tell me that there was an argument. 28-year-old Alicia Carroll allegedly picked up a handgun and an assault rifle that were here in the home and opened fire on her father. Police still processing the crime scene at the big house, tucked into a prosperous neighborhood in the midst of Loudoun County's wine country. Investigators say Alicia Carroll shot her dad to death late Wednesday night and then fled the house. Officers arrested her just a short distance away. In court documents, prosecutors say Alicia Carroll's mother, Cynthia, witnessed the murder, that she saw her daughter shoot her husband, that she ran to another part of the house and then heard more gunshots. Authorities pronounced Jeffrey Carroll dead at the scene. Good people. Neighbors still too shaken to show their faces on TV. He was a really good man. He was funny, he was kind, he was sweet. And his wife, they're really good people. Alicia Carroll has no Loudoun County criminal record. A sheriff's office spokesman says there have been no calls to the home in at least the last year. Doesn't make any sense to you. No. Never showed any signs of domestic violence. No. Alicia Carroll apparently had easy access to the handgun and the assault style rifle, which were in the home where she lived with her parents. Commonwealth's attorney Buddha Bibberai is urging her community to keep firearms out of the hands of people who should not have them. So lock them up, protect yourself, protect the family, just don't make them available to just anyone. Now, Alicia Carroll was arraigned this morning. She is facing charges of second degree murder, use of a firearm, and use of a firearm in commission of a felony. Just a whole lot of lives ruined here. Lorenzo, yeah, Leslie. Awful story. Bruce, thank you so much.